Watch you guys today we're taking a look at how to build your own Windows 11, a Tiny 11 ISO. Now we all know Tiny 11 is pretty popular and I've covered it on this channel. But first make sure you read this message so I don't have to go all the way through it and explain myself about this. This was quite a heavily requested video so I thought I'd make a video showing you exactly how to do it. First off, NT Dev has created a Tiny 11 builder which you can use to build your own version of Tiny11. If you're concerned about downloading an ISO file off the internet that has been modified, you can build your own. Now the script is automated, which will allow you to build your own Tiny11 ISO. It also is going to streamline the version of Windows 11 by removing a lot of key components. So bear that in mind. And this will be great for people that have older systems. You do need to use the exact version what they're telling you here there's three versions you can see on the screen but you have to use uup uh, dump to download these isos so go ahead and download the toolkit from mt devs github page and we'll get started after this quick message from our sponsor cd key sales if you're looking for a cheap windows 10 pro oem key or a cheap windows 11 pro oem key then check out the links in the video description all you need to do is create an account click the buy now button and use my promo code capital b capital r 09 apply this to your order and get a 30 percent discount on your purchase they will send you the key and you can activate windows by heading over to the activation center on windows so back on with a tutorial here you will need to download an iso file you can download this from the microsoft server and hopefully that will work out for you i'm not so sure whether nt dev has actually um, updated the script to accept the very latest version of windows 11 you can try that out for yourself if not you can use uup dump website so i've got the ISO downloaded now. I'm going to head over to UUP dump here, and this way we can do a search for the exact version that works with this uh, particular type of toolkit. I'm going to leave this as default here for the language and versions, and then click next. I'm going to leave this to download and convert to ISO, and leave the default settings here, and click create uh, download package. This may get blocked by your browser, and you can click the three dots here, click on keep click show more and keep anyway and it will download the files this is a new security feature in the browser so that is the reason why it's getting blocked we can now right click and unpack this with 7-zip and you should now see the files inside here now all you need to do here is click on the uup underscore download underscore windows dot cmd and this will open up the command prompt box and download the exact version that works with NT Devs. Uh, Tiny 11 Builder script. So I'm going to download this now so I know it's going to work. Once this downloads, it does take a fair bit of time using UUP dump. So bear that in mind. Uh, you will see a load of text going up on the screen, but that's okay. It's just downloading the correct version and then packing it as an ISO file and you can use it. It's safe to download and use this method. I've explained this before in many videos. So choose which method suits you. A UUP takes a quite a while to download the exact version uh, that you need for this particular project. So until NT Dev updates his script to accept the very latest versions of Windows 11, then this is the only method you're going to be able to use to be able to create Tiny 11 yourself in a quick method using the actual toolkit that he's designed. So once this is completed, we can click on press zero to exit out here. And we can now go to the UUP uh, folder, which we had, which was in our download section here. And inside here, you can now see the ISO file has been downloaded and it's now in here. And this is the exact version that we need for the Tiny11 Builder to work correctly. Okay, so next up, what we're going to do is mount this ISO. So I'm going to right click on here and you can click open with. And to mount this, you would choose a Windows Explorer, or you can right click and mount it. And you should then have this mounted on your computer, just like so. Once we've got that mounted, we can head over to the Tiny11 Builder um, download that we got and unpack it and basically use that to create our Tiny11 ISO. So let's go into our project folder here, and we're going to go into Tiny11 Builder uh, directory here. And we will need to download Rufus as well. This is so we can actually create our bootable USB uh, flash drive with our version of Tiny11 on it once we've uh, created it. So download that while you can as well. You can download the portable version 
and uh, I'll go ahead and download this and get this ready for the next step once we've created our ISO. Now, if you're actually concerned about what's inside the script and what it's removing, there is all the code right here and you can look right through it. I've looked for it and I can't see anything that's bad, uh, but don't take my word for it. Go through here yourself and have a good look of what's actually being removed. It does give you a full breakdown of what is being removed from the ISO file, but if you know how to read a, a script, you'll be able to go in there and take a look. So back to the actual Tiny11 Builder main file here. There is a readme in here which you can take a look at as well, and this gives you some instructions. I'm just going to quickly rename this TXT and open this up for you. Inside here, this does give you some instructions on what version to download, and basically you'll have it here in a notepad. So it does take a fair bit of time, but just follow the instructions here and download the correct version. It should work perfectly fine. It also tells you exactly what is being removed from that ISO file. Now, this version that you're creating here isn't going to be the super lightweight version that you can download off the internet, which was a completed ISO for you. That was using MSMG Toolkit or NT Lite, which is another type of software which you can use to remove key components and debloat Windows 11 or Windows 10. So MSMG uh, Toolkit, you've seen me make videos on that before. So if you do want to create yourself a super lightweight version like Tiny11, then you're going to have to use MSMG Toolkit or NT Lite uh, software to be able to do that. Now choose the right version batch file here inside the Tiny11 Builder folder here and run it as administrator. This will open up this tiny prompt box here and it will ask you to put the drive letter in for the actual uh, mounted drive. So my drive letter is E, so I'm going to select E and it will mount that drive for us and we can now choose uh, which version we want to use. So I'm going to use Windows 11 Pro, so it will be number two and I'm going to push enter. And once that's done, it's going to mount the drive and then start running the script and removing all of the components which it had in his list from that ISO file and then rebuild it for you. And it will be a lighter version. You'll see it working away here. I'm not going to show this whole process because it does take quite a while. So once this is done, just sit back and let it do its thing. And once that's done, it will create an ISO file inside the main Tiny11 Builder directory. So we'll take a look at that once that's completed. Now, if you get any sort of errors or any sort of issues, then you've used the wrong version or it's not worked correctly, then you have to go back and use the correct version that NTDev has basically created that batch file for. Now, there is other much easier ways of doing this and getting a much better result than this method, but this is a simple method and you can see the ISO file is called tiny11.iso. It's put it into our tiny11 builder main directory. You can now use Rufus to build a bootable USB flash drive and boot to that drive and install it on your computer and have a super lightweight version of Windows 11. Now, just to let you know, there is a version of Windows 11 Lite being released by Microsoft very soon, early next year. So if you want to wait, you can use the official version from Microsoft if you don't want to mess around with any of this stuff. And I completely understand why people don't want to do this. Now I've made videos about the pros and cons of this and using these methods and using ISOs off the internet from untrusted sources. So I won't be going into all of that in this video. You can check my previous video for that. So now we have uh, got our Rufus open here. You can now choose the customized Windows installation option here. So if you're using an old PC that's unsupported for Windows 11, you can use uh, Rufus to build a ISO for you. You can even use the official ISO from Microsoft without removing any of the uh, stuff from it, and it will be able to install it for you by using this method. So let's go ahead and let that build our bootable USB flash drive. And once that's done, you can then boot to this and then install Windows onto your computer, whether it would be supported or unsupported, this method will work perfectly fine. And you should have a super lightweight version of Windows 11. The only downfall is that you won't have any sort of browser on your system. So I'll quickly show you how to get that installed as well. It's pretty straightforward. You can do that in the uh, Windows Store. Okay, so that's now completed. We can close this off and boot to it and go ahead and install our version of Windows. It doesn't take too long. And once you're done, you should be at the desktop of your uh, Windows 11 Lite. 
And then from there, you can click on the Microsoft Store. And all you need to do here is search for the browser of your choice, for instance, Firefox or something like that. And uh, you can in install Firefox and get this up and running and be on the internet. Because you have no browser installed here, it has removed Microsoft Edge. So you have no browser. So you need to install it. And uh, this is how you can install it. Or you can use Winget or something like that to download it or Chocolatey or whatever you want to do to download your software. You can use that and get it installed. But once this is installed, you'll be able to use uh, this version of Windows 11 Lite. It's not activated, so you will need to buy a product key and activate it unless you have a legitimate key built into uh, your system, like an OEM key with Windows 10 activated, and it should be already automatically activated when you install it on your computer. Remember, if you're on unsupported hardware, Microsoft could pull the plug on support for the unsupported hardware at any time, so bear that in mind. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.